I was three when we left. In 1939, Ursula Israelski and her mother fled from Germany to Belgium to hide from Nazis in an attic. And I had a whooping cough, I remember that. And my mom said, don't make noise, don't, we're not supposed to make any noise. They lived in that attic for three years. In the middle of the night, and they knock on the door, uh, they spoke German, they said, aufmachen, aufmachen, open the door, open the door. Her mother was taken to Auschwitz, and at the age of five, Ursula bounced from one group home to the other, with no one to protect her. When I was eight, I was taken to a private home in the countryside, and I got sexually abused, yeah. Ursula's story, along with other survivors, is on display thanks to Sandy Scheller. This is my mother. This is what she wore two days before going into the concentration camp. Sandy's mother, Ruth, survived, and together they collected documentation from the Holocaust. It talks about the fact that this Nazi woman admitted to what she did in Auschwitz. The so exhibit will remain in Chula Vista throughout 2020. It speaks to the, the will of human survival. Mayor Mary Salas shared the importance of remembering. It's so easy for a government to incrementally uh, make changes that people don't realize what's happening and the horrors that can happen if you're not paying attention to what's going on. The exhibit is filled with pictures and proof because survivors say there is no greater insult than saying this didn't happen. I listen, I swallow it, and I move on. It's important. As for Ursula, she found her mother at a hospital after the war. She didn't have any hair. She weighed like 58 pounds, you know, and I was afraid to go over there. Ursula's mother was taken to Switzerland and she never got to say goodbye, <laughs> which is why she lives for moments oh like these. Oh, 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 I got a tattoo. <laughs> In the Zevely Zone, Jeff Zevely, News 8. That's funny.